winter in Canada can be one of those seasons that are really rewarding to go out and take pictures. And to be honest, I never really photographed winter all that much. I'm more kind of in line with photographing summer, spring, and fall. But I do enjoy the times I do go out, take pictures in the winter time. I do enjoy the scenery, the kind of stillness of winter. I can be find it really, really nice as a season, but kind of challenging for photography because the temperatures do dip well below zero. And it can be cold to staying out for long hours at a time taking pictures. And to be honest, I never really had a dedicated landscape photography winter glove that's just suited for photography as well, you know. I just kind of use whatever glove that's just available for winter and use it to keep myself warm. So I reached out to Valor Photography on my search for a winter photography glove and they sent me a free pair of one of their gloves for deep winter. Well, not deep winter, but for the cold winter days. And for me, honestly, the one main objective with a glove is to be able to use it operating all the functions I need from handling my camera bag, my tripod, my camera, without having to take the glove off. That would be my main objective because when you're warm inside a glove, it's all good. But when you take it out for a few seconds, touching the metal of the tripod or exposed to the cold temperature, that's when you feel cold. So honestly, like I'm gonna test these gloves that I have right here today, kind of using them while I'm taking pictures, kind of walking around trying to find something worthy of a picture. Hopefully I get something before sunset. But um, I want to try them out in the field, see how they do, and kind of talk a little bit about the features that come with it that are kind of photography centric features. I'm going to talk a little bit as well right now about the basic stuff that you can find online of what it's made from and what's what you get with the glove. And then I'll kind of use them in the field, see if operating the camera with it, it's easy while keeping warm. That's definitely like my main objective with this glove is can they keep me warm in the cold winter days without having to take them off. So the inner workings of these gloves are pretty much a combination of layered Prima Loft insulation and 100% merino wool lining. And the fabric on these gloves is a durable water repellent with a kind of laminated membrane. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the design of the glove at first. So you do get two Valorit kind of logo names here in metal as well. So you can see that right there. I don't know if you can see that. And you do get a zippered pocket on each one, on each glove. One right here and another one on this side too. So you get two zippered pockets and you can kind of use these for as you see fit as you like. And you can use them to store memory card, you can store extra batteries, you can put a hand warmer in there to give you some extra heat. I find, find these very versatile and I think you can probably put a camera remote in here too if you need to access it really quick. And one of the pockets on this has like this string that's attached to the inside of the glove and it has like a small, what do you call it, like a to tighten your tripod mount or your tripod bracket. So it's kind of handy to, to have that in the pocket when you need it right here. So it's quite easy to reach and also kind of designed for photographers in mind. The other thing I found really nice about this is you get here like a little suede finish on the glove. So you can actually use this to wipe your uh, your lens if you need to, to clean your lens when you get wet or get some moisture on it. So to have that option on both fingers right here is quite really nice option to kind of help you with your photography. So when I put them on these gloves, they fit really, really well for me. And you can tighten this strap here and tighten it really well so your jacket can fit over very easily, like so. And that will insulate everything and keep me really, really warm. So to be able to tighten this with the little, little Velcro here, it's actually a really nice addition that, that can fit like this so I can know I'm, I'm covering up all the angles. There's no place for the wind and the cold to come through. I'm gonna put the other one on now and see if it's easy to operate these gloves while having them on. Definitely like it's still very easy to grab stuff and tighten everything. Feels good. All right, so another cool feature about these gloves when I have them on is the finger here. Pretty much the finger here if I want to ever access my camera and access the buttons and have that 
you can kind of see right there you can kind of remove the glove at the tip so you can touch the control of the camera while still keeping the rest of the hand really warm and you got these magnets here that kind of clip on to keep the latch from flipping left and right and so that's kind of a nice feature to have this and when you don't need it you can just cover back up and steep warm but I can feel these keeping me really warm the minute I put them on like I can feel much much warm when I'm when I have them on rather than when I'm just have my hands exposed and I quite like the design on on this feature it looks really really nicely built so it's also like you have here the what do you call it the this weight finish to to, clean, to use it to wipe your lens so it's easily accessible on the outside you can just use it from the front it won't damage your lens and here you have this nice material it seems like textured material for a nice grip on your camera so definitely like it feels that I can grab the camera easily and feels nice and warm and yeah you do get a small carabiner here as well that if you ever need to attach the gloves to the outside of your bag or attach stuff to your glove you can use it for that but I think mostly this I what I can think of is kind of good for using it to attach the gloves to the camera bag like my Shimoda bag you can attach them to your strap when you don't need them if it gets too warm and then whenever you want to reach them right away you can kind of get to them right away so it's kind of a handy feature to have that because I can just take them off and just kind of I can clip them together like so with this I can kind of click them together with the carabiner and I can just clip them to my Shimoda bag I can just have them clipped to my Shimoda bag with the carabiner and when I reach them I just unclip it and take them out and I can use them as needed you know so that's kind of a cool feature to have uh, to have as well having that carabiner and the hooks for it you can see those little hooks you can kind of how they come you can just use it like so it's definitely very very versatile when you don't want to drop them on the floor just have them nearby though so it's kind of cool so I'm just going to put them back on so I can keep warm as well another thing that when I tighten them down they can fit under my jacket and really insulate well, everything so the wind doesn't come through so I'm just going to put that back on right here I guess I'm just kind of seeing with these gloves if I get good functionality using them as well because let's say if I have one on and I just have full function uh, easily I can reach and still be able to kind of use it to operate putting this on without taking off the glove yeah so they feel really nice quite like these gloves I quite like the design of them and they fit me really really well and yeah I feel good to kind of moving them around I got good functionality I can move them around very freely that's kind of the one of the things you want you want to be able to operate your fingers with the glove on and if you ever need to grab onto something you can just do this and then you have access to fingers to touch the controls on your camera and have full functionality it gives you better grip too if you want to grab onto something you can just use this function without having to take off the glove completely definitely this is something really really nice as a landscape photographer with my old gloves I used to always have the impulse to want to take off the glove completely in order to reach to do something and now with this I have to train myself not to want to take it off or just use the flip function here on the fingers and just kind of use it to like operate my phone to check something quick or if I need to check my notes you know so if I sometimes I like to keep notes on the phone so to be able to use this feature with the glove without having to take out the glove is really really nice but so far I've had them on for like for a while and it's it is cold today and it feels really really warm in my hands you know so definitely I recommend I would recommend getting these gloves they seem like re really well built really heavy duty 
for that but time will tell after using them for a while if they still stand the test of time it's really too early to tell but I do want to be clear that they did send me these gloves for free but I'm not sponsored by them so I can say whatever I want and I do like the nice design features having like the mountain graphic here and you know the logo here and it's just nice attention to detail it's not overdone it's tastefully done so definitely I mean looks nice as a glove but more important functionality that's what important is for me more than anything I guess now that I have my gloves fitted on really really nice I can use them for what they're meant to be and see if I can use all the functions of operating my camera my tripod my camera bag without having the urge to take off these gloves and keeping them on if I can function all that I think the glove would I say gets my full approval for a nice glove for photography <laughs> definitely I'm gonna go about explore a little bit here this winter forest that I'm in try to see if I can get a nice composition I mean I think we got a lot of fresh snow over the next from the last two days so it's kind of nice right now and yeah hopefully I can find something to photograph but it's just nice being out too exploring walking around you know nothing wrong with that so after talking a little bit about the gloves if you guys have any questions do let drop a comment I can answer it if I missed something I can definitely address that comment so usually like when I arrive to a scene the first thing I would do is just kind of take off my camera bag and for demonstration's sake I do see a nice composition here that I do want to take a picture of anyway you know I'm just gonna wait for the right light but in the meantime I'm gonna set up I guess operating the camera bag with the gloves on is very easy handling everything setting it down should never be a problem with these gloves and it's really really easy so I guess the next thing I would do is just kind of set up my tripod and I want to see using the gloves if I can unbuckle the tripod and use it set it up very easily without having to remove the gloves on after setting the camera back down only thing I want to find out here is if unclipping it with the gloves is easy to handle and from what I can tell this is super easy to do with the gloves on well getting the tripod off the bag was really easy with his gloves on so I guess the next thing you do in a typical landscape photography shoot in the winter time is to open your tripod and I think that was going to be the most you know kind of complex thing from out shooting in winter is getting your tripod set up it requires a lot of maneuvering probably that and setting up your filters I mean setting up the camera is really pretty straightforward it doesn't seem too complicated shouldn't be too complicated to do with the gloves on but opening a tripod maybe handling filters with the gloves on that's something I'm curious to see how to do if it if it does cause an issue or it's fairly simple with these gloves so far from what I can tell I still have the gloves on without even removing the the lips over the handle I can easily open the tripod and untwist the legs and open it up so definitely this, these gloves they got good grip and they're giving me full functionality without having to remove the glove and expose my hands to the cold so definitely being able to do that it's pretty pretty great so once I got the tripod fully open and the legs all locked up it feels really really good let's actually do that I'm actually I'm pretty impressed I guess the next thing would be I'm gonna move closer here is as you can see my ball head here has like a lot of knobs that's sticking out as you can see and definitely like handling these with the gloves on with the big one here no problem I can easily untwist it and handle it handle this and same thing with the little one actually it's really easy to undo and handle these and tighten them when you need to so I'm not having any issues even with the small one so definitely like you can do all this stuff without even have to remove this and flip this over and use access I think these are probably helpful when you want to do the change the function on the camera but for everything else the less time you minimize your exposure even if it's a small finger is definitely good so so far so good 
I guess the next step would be now I take out my camera out of the bag and see how that goes. So let me let me go do that right now. So I guess another feature is when you're kind of reaching into your camera bag, you want to see if you can handle the zippers very easily. Grab your camera out of the bag. It's very easy to do this with the gloves attached. It's easy to grab stuff out of the bag and put it back in and grab stuff. Super easy to handle as well. What I'm gonna do right now, actually, because I have the telephoto lens on, I do want to switch lenses and put on my wide angle lens for this picture. So definitely these are one of these tests that you have to change lenses in the field. So let's see how that goes with the gloves on, if it gives me good grip. From what I can tell, handling the camera, I can easily grip the camera with these gloves and I feel really secure using it and no problems there. I got a good grip on the lens and the camera with these gloves and I have no issue switching the lens out and even if I ever have to switch it again I can easily reach in, undo the lens and attach it back. No problem with these gloves, I can e easily manage everything. So with things like removing the lens cover it does get a bit difficult because I can't get a good grip so you would need to kind of reveal your fingers and do that but like I'm having I'm trying to do it it's not easy with this cover so I'm gonna set I'm gonna undo this get the camera set up on my tripod and there we go I'm just gonna undo the the bracket here and get the get that tightened so I mean like I said if you ever don't feel confident with the gloves on you can remove some of the finger to get a better grip like so and you can easily remove the lens cover here so yeah so when you need to remove the lens cover you pretty much just expose this and you should be good so so far it's going really really well everything i've done from setting up my tripod to taking out my camera putting it on the tripod it seemed like really safe with these gloves i felt like the handling everything seems safe i wasn't worried about at any point dropping the camera or dropping a lens on switching lenses with the gloves on so i can definitely recommend these for photography as of handling and functionality they handle it really really well i can always still change my settings on this camera with the glove fully covering my fingers so it's been easy even with that so i guess for the final piece de la resistance is i'm gonna right now i'm gonna pretty much I hope I'm not boring you guys with this very technical review of these gloves, but I want to see what they are. So I think the most technical thing you can do for landscape photography is using filters and filter casing and filter holder and attachments. So definitely this would be an ultimate test because this might be the most cumbersome out of everything I've done. So I'm going to start off by taking out my adapter here and attach it to my lens. Let's say I want to attach a polarizer and use it in this photo. Definitely you would want to know, can I do that with these gloves on? So that's what I'm going to do. There's nothing like doing it so you can see the actual reaction. So yeah, I got, I got the filter adapter here that I have to attach to the top of front of this lens just by screw it on, screwing it on. So yeah, it seems to be Easy to do with the gloves on, no problem there. <laughs> so that's definitely one down. I guess the next thing would be is grabbing my filter holder and taking out my circle polarizer, which is inside the case here. And I can easily say I can open the case very easily as well with the gloves on and grab stuff. So also, you don't want to drop your expensive filters. They would be pricey to, to drop them and break them. So definitely like you want to get a good grip. So far I got a good grip on the filters with one hand and the polarizer here with the other. So definitely like I've been able to do that really easily. No problem whatsoever. And even at using this to attach it. Here we go. 
yeah this might be a bit tricky with the small here but I might need my fingers here to be exposed so I guess in some cases you do have a bit of trouble managing small things like this handle here on my filter it's definitely like this is when I needed to expose it but once I do that it's secure it's on and there we go I got the polarizer on with the filter holder and the polarizer no problem I can take another picture now let's just see what that does even undoing it it's super easy as well I got them both separated so yeah like I'm pretty impressed with the grip on these gloves like I didn't feel like I was anywhere jeopardizing the safety of anything I'm handling from when it comes to expensive lenses and camera gear and filters definitely you don't want any of these things to fall and break so definitely like having that ease and the good grip on these gloves I'm definitely pretty impressed so here's my 100 to 400 lens and I have the 16 to 35 on so I'm just gonna twist this to be facing you guys and let's do the final test is changing the lenses on the tripod while it's uh, hanging on so definitely like this is one of the most cumbersome things you can also do it's one of those things as well handling filters is one putting on the changing doing a lens change in the field is another one definitely doing a test like this with the gloves on will really let me know if if it's safe to do so and if i recommend these gloves fully using them in the field so far what i can tell from using them I definitely recommend these gloves for using them and I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to learn more about it and buy them it's an affiliate link helps me out a little bit keep making these videos keeping food on the table yep so uh, at least pay for gas money which is super expensive these days yep so right now I'm kind of <laughs> figuring out how to do this without making a making a fool out of myself too on camera definitely not good all right definitely like Everything I've been doing so far, man, handling the camera bag with the gloves has been really, really easy. Like even things like removing the cover on this was super easy with these gloves. So here we go. Even when you're holding it, the lens, it feels really, really relatively safe. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the lens here. Super easy to do it with the gloves on, as you can see. The only thing left to do is pretty much attach the lens to the tripod here we go let's see very easy to handle I never felt like it was that it gave me a good grip well and you can see like even managing things like this once you take these out as well if you ever need to clean the lens you can use the suede here to wipe down your lens quickly and I find even the back of the finger here has like to get in the tighter areas you can easily do it with that and wow it looks really really nice to have that feature as well yep i think that pretty much covers everything if you guys have any questions about these gloves do let me know i'm sure i try to be as thorough as i can and uh, you know from what i can tell i really love these gloves i feel super warm in them i'm gonna be using them all the time in winter now and i think it will definitely help my winter photography moving forward kind of shooting in out in winter which is, can be enjoyable if you're dressed well you're warm you have nothing to complain about i think i'll take one more picture here with the telephoto lens because i got it on and i think i want to get in tighter on some of these winter details and get some shots of this nice scenery you know so yeah that's it uh, for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this review video of these Valerette gloves which are the tendon and I definitely would recommend these gloves for winter after doing all the, my tests and using them obviously the more time I spend with them I'll be able to fully appreciate them see how they hold up longer term since I only got these recently it's hard to too early to tell but I can tell they're really well built and they look quite stylish and they're just perfect addition for your photography to have these in your camera bag always on you 
Yep. Well, thank you guys for coming along and I do hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos. Like I haven't been out shooting in like quite a few months because I've been more focusing on the business side of photography, which is going well. But it really does cut into your time shooting when you're just all business and no photography. But definitely need to be back out today taking pictures. I quite enjoy it, taking some pictures, trying these gloves on. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see what sunset brings and hopefully I can get some some good shots. Yeah.